What is up everybody, this is your boy Battle Badger coming at you with another off the cuff review. Let's get into it. Alright guys, so this is the Movo LV1 lapel mic. Uh, you can find this on Amazon for about $20. However, I get I did get mine for free because I also bought a little shotgun microphone. Let me see if I can find it real quick. It basically came paired with this. That little shotgun microphone that you can do for like webcams and not like, well, uh, not webcams, uh, camcorders. Yeah, those things, you know, for, for older folk. Um, sorry for any older folk out there. But anyway, let's put that aside. That's not what we're here to review. What we're here to review is the lapel mic. All right. So, uh, right off the back, you are going to get like a little box as mobile. I have actually had this for a little while. So I'm just re reviewing the product itself. I will tell you what it comes with. All right. Uh, sadly, I did not keep the little box. I will show you the little box but i don't seem to have it um no i do not but i do have the little instruction manual check that out all right so let's open it up see what we got in here we got some pretty cool stuff you know it tells you tells you you know how to use the mic uh, how to like put it together what the functions are um you know all that cool juicy little things that you're gonna get um you, it is uh, battery powered. It uses a small, like, little watch battery. I don't, see, I don't know if you guys can see that real well, but uh, it's like a little watch battery, right? Um, hopefully, you guys are smarter than me and put it in the right, right the first time around, because the first time I did it, it did not work. Um, but that's because I'm not the smartest guy out there, you know. Let, let's be honest. But anyway, guys, you can get this for about 20 bucks. Like I said, I got mine for free because I got it hooked, uh, bundled in with the, the shotgun mic, which I will be testing later on for, you know, different purposes, uh, different uh, video types. Um, that being said, um, yeah, it's actually pretty well built. Uh, the cable, it doesn't feel really all that cheap. It feels pretty well built. The actual like switch uh, controller here, um, it's very well built. It's actually all metal. It's no, there's no plastic. It has your two little switches between cameras, which is a setting you're gonna want if you want to use it with your PC, or you can turn it off or to smartphone. Often smartphone are the same thing. Uh, I have not tested with a smartphone. Uh, we don't really plan on testing it with a smartphone. However, if you guys, you know, are interested in that, go ahead and leave it down in the comments. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe on this video. Uh, that would be really greatly appreciated. Thank you. I do appreciate every one of you. And you guys might get featured. Thank you. Uh, um, moving on. Uh, so build quality is great. Uh, functionality is not necessarily as plug and play as the... Uh, the thing might have you believe that it is right all right so what you actually got to do is that it also comes plugged uh it also comes bundled in with this little usb i don't know if i can get it to show on camera i'll just go ahead and tilt it but uh there you go that little usb dongle right here all right so it's gonna come with that and you're gonna need to plug it into the dongle and the dongle into your pc i have it hooked up to my a usb hub because i'm out of usb ports but it works all the same you know um yeah my dudes uh so let's go ahead and test out the audio quality from the mic i already have it set up on my obs it already had i already installed some filters i will show you with the filters first and then without the filters and you know oh hold on my camera is a little off center there we go I will show you with the filters first and then without, and you guys let me know what you think. By the way, right now, what you're hearing is me speaking through my Raisin Siren, Mi Razor Siren Mini, Raisin, wow, uh, yeah, Razor Siren Mini, great mic, highly recommended for streaming, so, uh, I'm not a sponsor, by the way, I did just, you know, I, I, I'm a fan, I'm a fan, all right. All right, everybody. So this is how the mic, the lapel mic sounds. What's up, guys? This is Future Badger coming to you to correct that little mistake. So uh, apparently I had the settings wrong for the Movo. Uh, 
you on OBS you actually have to have it as a uh, monitor only mute output because if not if you have it as monitor and output along with your desktop audio monitor and output it will loop the audio over twice so you're gonna get that echo that you just heard all right so here is a better iteration of what just happened and the audio is a lot better so uh yeah we're gonna go ahead and redo the actual review because i had it done and i didn't hear the echo until i was in editing so here is um the redo i will see you guys there all right guys so this is a better uh representation of how the audio sounds with the mobo lavalier mic uh, again it's only twenty dollars um and yes like i explained earlier the audio actually um was you know bad you, you guys heard how bad that was but that's because i had it set up wrong uh that's on me but now i hope you guys have a better understanding of how it sounds now i'm gonna clip it on to my shirt so you guys can actually see how good it actually is so here um clipping it on now Jeez. all right so this is it with um me having it on my shirt it's not bad i actually like how it sounds uh i think the crackling is just coming from my headset honestly uh so yeah i like it uh, i like it for the value uh it's not that bad like i said i got it with this thingy right here all right so um i got this one for about 20 bucks and i got the lavalier mic for free but if you're just looking to buy this uh the lv1 usb lavalier microphone um it's gonna cut, run you about 20 dollars so it's pretty good um I'm going to go ahead and give it a 6 out of 10. I had it at a 7, but I'm dropping it down to a 6 because of the audio issues that I had. All right. Um, even though, yeah, I technically, I guess it was my fault. But, I mean, my Razer mic is set to monitor and output. And it doesn't conflict with the desktop. You know, like, it, there's no e extra echo to it. It is just, you know, monitoring itself it, it's it's really good the way it's set up so i really don't know what the issue is um but this one it has to be monitor only out mute output or output muted uh and the desktop uh, audio part needs to be uh monitor and output so that that's how you get your audio uh sadly uh well guys not bad not mad of a mic you know um the build quality you guys can actually hear my banger rubbing on the uh on the little foam part i can't remember what it's called but yes guys this uh this little mic is pretty impressive not gonna lie uh the cord like i said is pretty thick like you have this thickness right here all right plus this uh, like thickness so, i mean it's, it's about 20 feet long uh, I can't remember if I already said that in the review, like earlier, before the actual test of it. Uh, actually, I'm, I'm just going to keep it right here so you guys can hear me better. Um, but yeah, I have, other than the uh, not so plug and play nature of it, it's actually a pretty good mic. I do highly recommend it. I, I'd say, um, you know, yes, uh, you know what? Yeah, 6 out of 10. 6 out of 10. Um, you know what? No, 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 no. We're going to bring it back up to a 7 out of 10 because of the build quality. Uh, and it loses those three points just because it's not as plug and play as they have, as they would have you believe. All right. It is actually a little bit more complicated than, than, you know, you would think. Uh, so you need to connect the actual three, mil three millimeter connection to the USB hub that comes with it. And the USB hub onto a USB port on your PC. And then uh, go ahead to your OBS and add it as the USB audio. It appears as USB audio and you, it, it'll pick up quick. And remember to put it again in monitor only output muted uh, for the USB audio and desktop audio as uh, monitor and output. If that's how you guys are running your rig. Um, 
if you guys are running it differently or if you guys have any solutions other than the ones that i, I have suggested please put them down in the comment because honestly i'm still struggling with the obs audio uh, i am not an audiophile in any sense of the word i struggle with audio so much it's actually the, my number one freaking issue that i have when I'm streaming um uh, so yeah I, I would definitely appreciate some help on that end if you guys would be so kind uh, but yeah guys i hope you guys enjoyed this this was another off the cuff review if you like the video go ahead give a like and subscribe and don't forget to leave a comment if you liked it and if you didn't like it go ahead and give a dislike and tell me why you didn't like it so you know i can go ahead and improve and do better with my youtube videos going forward um so that being said guys this was battle badger you guys have a lovely lovely night peace